It's Saturday, August the 12th, and I'm eight minutes from home, and I'm down at my favorite place, the causeway along the inner harbor of Victoria. I'm on my way to the Victoria Dragon Boat Festival. They haven't had one in two years because of COVID, but they're sure having one now. Your viewing travels with Lobo, now with the completion of my 35-part series, Thailand from the North, from my hometown of Victoria, British Columbia. Remember, a vlog is published every Friday. And uh, as I look uh, back, uh, there's the iconic Empress Empress Hotel, right there by Milestones. And of course, Prince of Wales, whale watching. And uh, right down at almost water level is Milestones, a lovely restaurant. Uh, I walk by here all the time, as I say. I can't remember when I ever ate here. Do I ever treat myself or Barbara? Uh, not as much as I should, I would say. Um, yeah, stop and smell the roses, the roses, the roses. <laughs> just went back and checked and I didn't see any roses but uh, well you know what I mean it's an idiomatic expression if you're going to be dragon boating you've got to love people you gotta not mind being close to other people being part of a group camaraderie just a good team feeling it just oozes collective activity that's dragon boat racing Now, at this point, there have got to be one or two of you who are saying, hey, I'd like to participate in that. By the way, it's very inspirational. You got to charge up your team. You know, hearing the grunting and the, I don't want to give any more. And, and then she asks for more and you're all giving it. Thank you for letting me keep going back. Yeah. Well done. It was a very smooth feeling boat. And you guys were just awesome. Well, there would be power. inner sanctum and the hub of activity is the paddler's village it's intense and exciting i tried to get in there but they wouldn't let me and here is the aerial view of the paddler's village well aerial in the sense that you're looking down upon it from wharf street which runs along the waterfront but can you imagine the amount of uh, fun these people are having down there all together uh meeting new people, exciting, winning races, camaraderie, plus, hey, this is paradise for, for dragon boat racers.
takes. You got nothing else to give it for. Every night, everybody know what dragonflies are? Who knows what dragonflies are? The wetness on your ass after practice? This is what it's all about. We're the third to last race. This is your competition. You give it everything you got. You enter the game. Okay? Okay, one other thing. Same time next year. Okay? Thank you from the bottom of my heart, everyone, for being here. This is the best goddamn festival anywhere. Since dragging boat racing was originally a Chinese thing, why not some Chinese lantern to brighten things up? Colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. Even the outhouses had colors. Just have a look at this. No, this, uh, after all, was a festival, and uh, what would a festival be without the other F word? And that other F word would be food. Yes, there were food trucks, plenty of food trucks to look after the paddlers who didn't bring a lunch, and the tourists. And somewhere, I think they had a beer tent, too. So, uh, you can see the weather was beautiful and the atmosphere was festive. So, a beautiful, beautiful experience at the Victoria Dragon Boat Festival 2022. Now, I haven't shown you much of the dragon boats. Yes, the dragon boats. Uh, the problem is that uh, you don't have close access to them. Uh, visitors are kept back. And your sight lines are pretty far away. So I leave you with some footage of dragon boats. Enjoy what you see. Thank you for viewing this video and since I'm 100% sure there's nobody still at the end of the video, I enjoyed this. It was a great day. Uh, Barbara used to participate in dragon boat racing. I did not. As usual, I'm a laggard. Barbara likes to do things, not me so much. Thank you. See you next week for something entirely different. That would be next Friday. Till then, bye.